Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we are going to be doing my January wrap up. <laughs> I am starting my January wrap up. I know. I know. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working. I didn't read that many books, so you know, I might as well go ahead and record it. <laughs> Let me pull up the Goodreads in typical India fashion. Let me pull up the Goodreads. Because I only finished three books during the month of January. <laughs> the first one being. The Black Fox, The Dirty Heroes Collection number one. Um, this was by Brianna Hale. This was definitely recommended to me during one of my Wind Down Wednesdays. I swear I'm going through like almost all the recommendations you guys have given me um, throughout Wind Down Wednesday. And this one came up because it was short. I was really trying to meet my December goal and I just couldn't get it together at the end of December to try and um, finish my Goodreads annual reading goal. So it got finished during the first week of January and that's okay. Um, so this one is for romance. It is a romance. So for romance tropes, we've got Daddy Kink. Um, we've got, um, so, okay. So this story is kind of like Zorro meets romance. Yeah. Zorro meets Daddy Kink is definitely the story. Like, our main male character is called the Black Fox. He is a anti-hero, per se, um, or a vigilante. Um, <laughs> and basically he's just like Zorro, you know. For you young kids out there, Zorro is a Spanish hero, also like a vigilante or an anti-hero who wears a mask, wears a mask just right across his eyes, all black, black hat, black billowing cape, and just, you know, like, I don't even know, clothes. And then he's got a sword that he uses to fight th the bad people, to help the good people. And then whenever he does, he leaves behind a Z. Zorro, for you young kids out there who don't know who Zorro is. That's who Zorro is. So black box is literally the same thing. Um, and then we've got a daddy kink. And I think there's more, like, I don't remember if it's the Dirty Heroes collection series. I don't remember if like the next one has more, like continues the book. Um, yeah. <laughs> because it brings up like a curse, like a generational curse. And, but we don't get to dive into that. It's only a novella, so we don't really get to dive into that. I gave it four stars, but it's probably like a good 3.5 out of four, for real. And I just rounded up to four. Um, it's only 100 pages, so it's definitely a quick read when you finally get into it. Um, but it takes a little bit to get into with the split personality and all of that. Um, next up, I finished recently The X Talk. I listened to this one on Audible. Um, I thought this was really cute. It is an enemies to lovers. It just came out recently, so I'm surprised I read a new release. Um, it is an enemies to lovers series book um, featuring and also an older woman, an older woman with a younger man. So that that is definitely interesting. Um, featuring our both our main characters work for public radio and public radio is kind of their life. And they end up starting this public radio show called the X talk. But the only problem is it is based off of a lie. But that lie leads to some truths. And there you have it. That's kind of the X talk. I definitely give this one four stars. I enjoyed the radio aspect of it. Um, I didn't, there were some, I mean, sometimes female, sometimes the female character would just get on my nerves a little bit about things she was holding on to. Like, I definitely understand, you know, not believing in yourself, but some things she would just hold on to were just annoying and... So I'd be like, oh my god, just calm down, just get over it, get over with it. So I'm sorry, but that was the X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. Um, so I did enjoy it, and it was good. I would recommend it. It was very, I listened to it in a day maybe, um, at home and then driving to and from work and stuff like that. So easy to get through, easy, easily digestible. Next up, 
was tamed by the Highlander. I sent out a tweet asking for some, I was doing a whole bunch of schoolwork, couldn't do it no more, couldn't do any more candle stuff, just couldn't do it. I was like, guys, I need book recommendation. I need something steamy, I need something hot. Like I just need something like right now. So my friend Nicole from Who Picked This Book sent in with the Rex and she never disappoints, ever. So she sent me Tamed by the Highlander, Kilt and Kisses number one by Madison Fay. Um, this was also really quick, um, a really quick book. Um, I, I don't know how many pages it is. I don't know how many pages it is. Um, but it was super short, like a hundred and some pages. But it was hot and steamy and Scottish and men in kilts and I mean, it's like, it's one of those arranged marriage stories you're not mad about because they're, the whole premise starts on an arranged marriage, but you're not mad about it on this one. You kind of, you're like, oh, you lucky bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so some fighting, some swords, some sword, some sword play. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Not really. Um, but yeah, so I definitely gave this book four stars. Um, it was, it was good. I enjoyed it. I know this is the quality content you guys have been missing, but here I am giving it to you. Love you guys so much. Um, Patreon folks, you guys can look for full book reviews on these books. Um, and by full book reviews, you guys know I'll be drinking and then giving you my thoughts and opinions on these books and uploading it to Patreon. <laughs> love you guys um but anyway guys that is it for me it was only three books in january so hey we made it through it means i did read books which is amazing didn't think that was gonna happen so and you know february we've got black author readathon so i have to read books in february so i guess i'll have another wrap-up to do <laughs> so make sure you guys participate in black author readathon um there's prizes, a bingo board, and just a whole bunch of great books. And I'll be reading a whole bunch of romance books and talking about them over on Instagram and Twitter and all this other kind of stuff. So anyway, like I said, for the umpteenth time, that is it for me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell notification button so you never miss anything. Don't forget to hit that like button because I know you like seeing me. And until next time, keep turning the pages.